Okay, this is going to be great because today I'm going to explain how you can make an outline that will provide you with great content for your cookbook. So stay there and let's get this shit rock and rolling, mother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, people from all over the world, this is going to be super hot today. And I know that this sounds a bit like the, the circus, but... I'm excited because I'm going to explain how you can produce whatever you want to call it. It can be a high quality outline so you can send to your team of writers. In my case, I use Urban Writers. It's the team of writers I suggest for you to check them out. I'm going to leave a link right below. And also make sure to use my coupon code JA5 so you can get a 5% discount on your orders. Anyway. I'm going to explain this because this is one of the parts where a lot of people get wrong. A lot of publishers, they kind of get a bit, uh, I would say, lazy with their outline. And then it starts, and I mean, if you want to have a, a great content in your book, then it really starts here. Because if you are lazy with this, then you send uh, an outline that basically tells your, your team of writers just to well, it doesn't matter. Let's just provide some generic content that we, as writers, can easily find all over the internet. And that's what exactly happens. And once you publish that book, what happens? Well, you don't make much sales. So pay attention to this video. Anyway, make sure to leave a thumbs up right below on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive more of these fantastic videos on a weekly basis where I explain a lot about Kindle publishing and several ways for you to make money online. Now this is part four of my series of videos when it comes to how to publish a cookbook on Amazon. If you missed one of my previous videos, make sure to check them out. So the first video over here, how to self-publish a cookbook on KDP, it's the introduction where I explain what you should expect with this. Then part two, how to analyze Kindle keywords, profitability, and so on, so you can find great keywords to publish your books. And then part three, how to create a fantastic looking cover. Okay, you can, if you want, you can order a cover, but also I explain how you can do this in Photoshop. Also, if you haven't watched my interview with expert Thomas Sartz, I recommend for you to check it because he provides a lot of advice when it comes to Kindle publishing. Now let's get the ball rolling. Let's talk about how you can get an outline. So what you want to go is to Amazon. You want to go to Amazon and over here you want to go to Kindle store. And you want to search for your main keyword. In my case it's carnivore cookbook. So. In my previous videos, uh, I did some keyword research and I saw that this was a, a very profitable keyword. And now I'm trying to search for, uh, I want to make an outline for my cookbook. So I need to know what my customers want included in my book. So what they like, what they don't like, and so on. All of that. I need to research and the best way for you to do this is simply go to your competitors books and especially to your competitor books which are from authors you can easily see this by the number of reviews that these books have for example over here this book has 875 reviews I mean if if you were a publisher, this this would be extremely hard for you to get this amount or this number of reviews. So you can easily see that this is from an author. So what you want to do is simply go to these cookbooks and you want to get some intel about what you should get in your cookbook. So you, I'm going to do this for this one, but you should do I'm going to give this one as an example, but you should do for at least two, three books that belong to authors. You should use the same process that I'm going to show to you now, okay? You should use the same process, and by the end, you will see that you have a good outline to send to your 
team of writers so they know exactly the type of content that they should write for your book once again take your time with this this may take a uh, an hour or two hours or whatever but the most important thing is for you to have a great outline don't get lazy with this I know once you get to this part after after spending your time doing keyword research and all of the rest uh, you kind of you just want to publish a book I know how it is but this is also a very important step in the Kindle publishing process so the first thing that you want to do is simply go and check this book preview or in this case this is the Kindle version of this book so you want to go and check the preview you want to go to the table of content and in the table of content which is this one you get a good idea of at least the essential content that your cookbook should have okay you don't want to simply copy and paste this okay but this gives an, a, a structure for your book and you can even include if you want you can even actually this is a word pad but you can write your a table your outline in any test editor so you say hi there I want a book a cookbook about the carnivore diet this book should include the details okay so I have something like that might not be exactly this but it doesn't matter so you just want to initially explain that this is a carnivore diet cookbook or it can be a, a paleo diet it can be anything just give some basic insight then if you want you can include the table of content that you want okay so you can include the table of content over here um, and then you can include some later on some bulletin points I'm actually not going to include a or actually I'm going to include okay so I'm going to include some bulleted points over here so yeah I'm going to include this later on okay so let's start over here so uh, let's go back over here to and let's make this bold and let's grab over here this seems like a good a good starting point okay you don't want a cookbook with exactly the same information of course or otherwise you just have a, a cheap a cheap a cheap copy of this book which you don't want you want to have unique content but it gives you a good idea of what you should have so initially you want introduction then you want chapter one uh, implementing what is the the carnivore diet I could imagine that probably is uh, kind of that what are actually this is putting everything in bold but let's say what is what are the benefits I can imagine that is quite important carnivore diet um, so I would need to um, just you know I would need to research more to to see what people want but based on this you can see meal plan seems like something that people consider important they like to have like a, let's say a, a 30 day or a 21 day three week uh, meal plan that they simply can fall once they start this diet this is something great for people who are starting a diet because it gives them basically um, it gives them the a few steps that they can just implement immediately and know the the type of meals that they need to do on a daily basis so it's easier for people to follow this new diet if they have a meal plan because 
This way they don't need to think a lot initially and after like 21 days or something like that they already have the habit of following this diet and everything just becomes easier. So I would include over here let's say um, 21 day meal plan. Okay, 21 day meal plan. Then chapter 4 could be let's say chapter 4 could be breakfast okay let's actually this is chapter 3 uh, so this is chapter 2 and I would need to see over here more about each chapter but I guess you get the idea of what you should do so um, let's say breakfast recipes uh, lunch uh salads and recipes i think it's salads uh salads appetizers and uh snacks probably sides not sure what it is exactly sides but so i'm actually going to add over here a few bulletin points because it's just easier for people to my writer then to see this and just follow along and you can even include the amount of uh, like let's say that you want 50 recipes in your book you can include over here how many you want in each section let's say that you want uh, five five um, recipes here then you want on the lunch you want let's say 10 recipes so on and so on I guess you get the idea so this gives you and I gives an idea to your to your uh, writer what they need to do and you can include pork poultry poultry etc okay and I also I like to add over here a different section so this is table of content and I'm going to write over here what I want on my cookbook okay let's make this um, let's make this a bit bigger uh, bold over here and what I don't want in my cookbook what I don't want now I'm going to name a few things that I immediately know that I don't want in my cookbook okay I don't want a copyright page but of course if this is your first book you may want to have one but I simply you know I simply get this from another book and I don't want a copyright page for my for my newest book because I will copy and paste it from another book and also I know that writers use this as worth count and everything counts so just exclude this because this is just copy and pasted or just copy and pasted content that I don't want I don't want on my cookbook a copyright page okay copyright page don't start my book my cookbook with thanks for downloading an or other or another I would say template phrases okay this is something that they commonly do when it comes to um, when they produce your your books you will notice that sometimes I'm not saying that it happens with urban writers but it happened to me in the past where uh, they simply get this this kind of template introductions for your book like thank you for downloading my ebook and so on I appreciate it this is going to be blah 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 I don't like that in my cookbooks nor in any other book uh, about another topic because it makes your book like seem like kind of cheap and also the, the other part is if someone buys your your paperback it doesn't make sense for for the introduction saying thank you for downloading this book and they use this phrases and they use other similar phrases just to fill the word count faster so I always like to include this and um, 
yeah, so this is over here in the preview, you will get some basic idea of the necessary information that your cookbook should include. Of course, you should do this for two, three uh, other cookbooks that belong to authors, as I already explained, and kind of just tweak things around over here with your table of content. If you want, you can even provide a few examples. You can provide over here, you can grab this URL from this book. You don't need this section over here, okay? This is a necessary. Just over here, just grab this, and you can put over here, I've here, or if, So you can include some examples, so your writers, and you can do the same thing for videos. I already did this also for videos. Uh, I, I tell my writers like to, well, go to this video, let's check over here, carnivore, then, and let's say that you have over here a video with a lot of great content. Let's say that, I'm not saying this one has, but let's say, like this one, Let's say this one, this one it only has three minutes, but yeah, you can see this guy, this guy's look all bulky and, and stuff with this diet, so it looks great. Uh, and you can provide also a YouTube video, you know, and tell the writers just to, to go to this uh, YouTube video to get more information about this diet so they can include it inside of your book. Okay, now this is the, the first step. Just go to the book preview. This is what you should do initially. And next, what you want to do is simply go to the rating of this book, okay? I usually don't go to the one store. And the reason I don't check many of these reviews is typically these are just, you know, it can sometimes be the the competition of this author, it can be another author just paying to include negative reviews on this cookbook or something like that. And it's just people ju that are just saying bad basically about everything. And it's kind of unrealistic, this first reviews. So I just like to go to the two star reviews and I like to see some other things. So I had my table of content and over here, I'm going to get, at first with the two-star uh, reviews, I want to see what people didn't like about this book, okay? I want to see what people didn't like. And what I want to do is I want to provide a cookbook with even better content than my competitors. And sometimes based on the negative reviews, the two-star reviews, it can also give me an idea of something that people are searching in the the carnivore diet and that they feel that is missing some piece of information and sometimes you can basically get a book produced just around this specific problem in this uh, in this keyword the carnivore diet so you really need to check around over here we actually don't have many reviews we have two but you can see that people I mean, customers basically leave all of the information that you need for your cookbook. You don't need to go like to a forum, to anywhere else. Everything is included over here. Uh, let's check this review. I'm not doing carnivore or zero carb or whatever you want to call it, but I'm curious, curious about spot this book. Nah, nah, other reviews. Okay, so some people seem like they they consider the recipes in this book, the carnivore diet, to be kind of simple. Now, I don't know about the carnivore diet, but it seems like, a, at least for me, it seems like a very boring diet where people just eat meats from, from dawn to, I don't know, since they, they wake up in the morning, they start eating beef and and, <laughs> and bacon and I don't know, it's kind of a crazy diet in my mind. But I think that, I, I don't know about this diet, but I think it's it, it's kind of a simple diet because it's just meat and more meat and, and more meat. So basically that is what this um, customer is saying. 
that some people over here complain that this uh, recipes are simple but I don't know uh, probably this could be some points include to include um, one more my cookbook okay so I can include over here another line and um, you can also put this in your over here in your table of content what you feel that is missing but I'm going just to put over here another line so include a few more sophisticated carnivore recipes okay let's see what else uh, are probably even season I mean seasoning I hope you like your your meat super plan and season because salt is pretty much all you get there's near a speck of pepper or club to be seen there isn't even okay so you can see that some people there isn't even any lemon juice for the shrimp and crab so let's say that include also some sauces sauce so Jesus sauces yeah sauces to include also some sauces sauces recipes so pe people may add to their meals to spice them up okay I guess that is what this people this uh, person over here is saying uh, there isn't even any lemon juice for the shrimp and crab so probably some some sauces sauces that people could include with their meals could make them just more interesting because for from what I see this is a very simple a uh, diet and if there is no if there is nothing more to include into these meals they quickly get boring I wonder what they actually eat for dessert um, also add some interesting desserts I, I'm not sure what they actually eat for desserts I'm not even certain if the people who follow this diet they I guess they eat desserts I'm not sure like <laughs> like a beef in in covered with honey <laughs> I'm not sure really um, okay, this person doesn't like the carnivore diet but this is what you want to do okay we just have over here two reviews but if you go to that's why I recommend for you to check two three books in, for this specific keyword so you can get more a better idea of what people feel that is missing in this uh, key in this cookbooks I mean so that's what you want to do so let's go to the three star and basically that's what you want to do you want to scale up you want to start with the two star then you go to the three star four five and so on and once you start getting to the four and five stars you start seeing what people enjoyed in this book and what you should had to your cookbook also pros well researched and credible information cons not well written very repetitive in certain areas and per sentence structure blah 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 so I guess that also had some scientific data to back up the benefits of this diet okay sometimes people like not I noticed because I've been publishing uh, cookbooks for quite a while and I noticed that sometimes uh, people like some scientific data to back up the the benefits of the diet why it works and so on so they j don't want just um, some basic information and get on with it
Okay, over here you can see that on the three stars you really don't get much information. So let's pass to the four stars. As you can see, the customers like some scientific data to back up the diet. So this is something that you will notice a, a lot when it comes to this. So yeah, I guess you get the idea. There's actually not many reviews over here for some reason. You can see that this must be a really good book because most of the reviews are five stars. So sometimes you may have, um, as you may see, struggle to get more information, but let's go to the five stars. So as you can see, this is the process. I'm just scaling up. I start with two stars. You may want to check one stars, but as I already said, sometimes or typically it's just people just saying bad about everything or just some competitor just leaving negative reviews uh, to, to kind of ruin the, the rating. Uh, so you start with two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, and you write all of the, the hints that customers leave about this book. And you try to to get a book that has even better content, or you can even go and just focus on a more specific area in the this the diet or in the the cookbook uh, topic that you chose. Okay. So let's go over here. As you can see, a lot of information. Of course, I'm not going to read this, all of this, but. Yeah, you get a lot of information over here. If I read this, this would give me a lot of information for my book. You can see that this person talks about the the science. So this is something that people really like. Is uh, over here? I'm going to like provide scientific reasons and sometimes they may even uh, okay I'm not going to read all of this even though I have only cooked three recipes so far I noticed that most of them are straightforward so simple provide uh, straight forth instructions for each recipes also I know that this is something that people want furthermore include um, sometimes and it really depends but in some diets people want to get the number of servings and actually you can see over here number of servings uh, nutritional facts um, preparation time let's see more cooking time okay cooking time cooking time as you can see calories per serving uh, so let's actually put over here calories actually this is insert for serving and preparation time time okay so this is something that you need to include okay so this is what you want to do you want to spend some time this can take a uh, quite a while so I'm not going to do all of this but I guess you get the idea so the first step is simply you want to go to the um, you want to go first to the book preview, check the table of content of that book, and this will give you a basic direction of how you should structure your cookbook or how you want your book cookbook to be structured. And then what you want to do, once you have a, a good structure, what you want to do is simply go to the reviews. You want to start with the two stars where you can see uh, what customers felt that was missing in this book 
then you want to go to the three four and five stars and basically read these comments and grab every single hint that these customers left and then you want to rinse and repeat the same process for another cookbook let's say this one you go over here to another book you open it up you go to the table of content and see how it was structured and sometimes you can see that okay I find this interesting okay where did we go wrong okay uh, I'm not sure what that means Involutionary addressing the questions so probably like addressing the questions this may seem something interesting like to add in in um, in the first chapter or in the second chapter really depends how you as I already said you want to tweak your table of content until you have a structure exactly the way that you want so let's say common questions asked about the carnivore diet okay so let's imagine that when people get into this diet there are some common questions they are curious about it do they only eat meat for example if they just eat meat every single day from from day from when they wake up they just grab a piece of bacon and start eating it or, or how the how does this diet work and other things this could be a common frequently frequently asked questions okay Ask questions about the carnivore diet. Okay. Uh, let's see other thing. The myth of plenty goodness. I'm not sure what this means, but I would need to check more. Okay, veganism. Okay, veganism. False hope. I wonder what this means. Veganism, but that sounds basically that is the opposite of the carnivore diet. So. Okay, I'm I kind of inventing over here, but appendix carnivore cheat cheat. I wonder what this is. This may be something interesting to add to the cookbook. Okay, so this is what you do, and then you go to the reviews and you kind of tweak things around. And sometimes my outline might have like uh, eight hundred words, one thousand words, and I do this and once again I rinse and repeat the same process go to the two stars see what people left actually we don't have any comments over here so I go to the three stars uh, okay so so people actually I did this stuff for about five months and I did lose about three so let's say let's say over here on meal plan 21 day meal plan to lose uh, not sure how much you can lose in 20, 21 days with this diet, but let's say uh, to lose 10 pounds. Okay, it really depends on the the person who is following, but you can see that it makes it sound just for um, people immediately see the benefits of following this 21 days, and then you want to include over here on the top the title. So the title is. Of course, the carnivore cookbook. And the subtitle I'm going to invent. I'm not saying this is the best one. Let's say the 50 best um, carnivore recipes to lose uh, weight to lose weight quickly. I can't actually, when it comes to Amazon, they don't allow you to like leave um, for example 50 best carnivore recipes to lose um, 10 pounds in 21 days Amazon doesn't allow you to do that I used to do that in the past and those subtitles used to actually sell pretty well uh, let's say let's actually 21 day meal plan actually it's meal plan or meal prep not sure let me check what I include yeah meal plan when I went day meal plan to lose whatever okay I'll actually let's okay 
Okay, so I would do the same process for this book and so on, and then you simply go to the team of writers, in this case, Urban Writers, and you go over here and in my next video, in my next video, I'm going to show to you. So you go over here to Urban Writers and you go to Book Services, and then once you are in Book Services, you want to select the package that you want to use. Usually I use Urban Package or Rising Package. But in this case, let's go for the Rising Package. And of course you want to save this file over here, okay, to your computer. Let's, actually I'm going to do that. Let's save over here. Um, to my computer. Uh, let's call this uh, Carnivore Diet Online. And um, I'm going to add over here between 15,000 words to 18,000 words is pretty good. And health and fitness dieting, let's call this and just go over here to the carnivore cookbook, paste it, paste it. And also you can later on just change the, the subtitle. I just, let's call this uh, author Mark Tweet. You can later on change this if you want. I'm actually I'm not going to include the bio. You can also copy and paste all of this to here, just like this, or you can upload the file. Go over here and upload the file. Let me check where it is. Outline. Okay. Just as you can see. Please read the outline. attach to this message and if you have questions um, send them to my email yes I've included okay let's go uh, this is the price and let's check out and what you want to include over here you want to put all of this information and then you want to include the coupon code which I'm going to leave right below J5 so you can get a 5% discount as you can see a small discount it's always useful okay so that is all. This is how you can uh, get your outline done. It may take a few hours. It really depends on the, um, the keyword that you select, but this is what you do. You go to the book preview, then you check the, the reviews and you basically write over here everything in detail about what you want included in your cookbook. Then you go over here to Urban Writers and you can use their service. You can choose the rising package or the other package that they have and use the coupon code and just get the book done. This may take like 20, 30 days to get your book done. Once you receive your book, then you just publish your book. So that's exactly what I'm going to explain next on my next videos. Also, make sure to leave a like below on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is all for now. Stay tuned with Jordan Alexo and bye.